up, Whitey Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Anime Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Kakaguri Season 1, Episode 3. Now, I'm going to tell you Nerdigans right now, this is my second time attempting to record this video because I realized as I was recording it, I was like, damn, this is getting way too long. So I'm going to um, try, I'm going to try and shorten it the best way I can here. So... Basically, here's my problems with the episode thus far. Um, I gotta question the writing staff here because where I would have wanted this episode to start was kind of where we left off um, in the chapter, which was, uh, hold on a second, um, uh, where uh, one of the uh, people in the um, traditional culture club said, welcome to the traditional culture club. You are in luck on our guests. There's a public match in progress right now. How about heading over to watch it? Or fuck, we could have ended with with this part here, but it would have been nice kind of like to have a little recap. Um, and then right here have the explanation of the public match. So what they did instead was after the opening song, they did the explanation of the public match and it just didn't work for me. Why would you do it after watching someone play? Why wouldn't you explain it beforehand? I just, it just didn't, bo it just bothered me. Um, and the other thing that bothered me with the explanation of the public match was that um, they didn't show the charts. I don't know what this anime has against the fucking charts, but if uh, Nanamaru Senbatsu could do it, you could do it too, Kakaguri. Um, let's see. And then, because they, d and the reason why I'm kind of annoyed that they didn't do the stuff about the, um, the, uh, public matches, uh, why they did it after the opening song versus before, was because this, this part was skipped. That's correct, and right now the person undertaking one such challenge is our very own president, who also happens to be a student council member, Yuriko, um, uh, Nishido to Toensama. Uh, the current wager is 10 million. Why would you not mention the wager? I, I don't get it. Um, and then this dialogue was skipped here. Uh, what's the matter? you still got plenty of chances to turn things around. It's far too early for you to consider giving up. Shut up. Um, and Suzui was supposed to be thinking, she's doing a public match against a student council member? She really was driven against the wall. But then, I, again, I understand why they didn't have this part, because they didn't do the explanation of the public match, um... Uh, at this point in, uh, in the anime. Um, another thing I didn't understand that they skipped was she's got 160, and this is from Satome, uh, she's got 168 chips to my 32. At this rate, I'm gonna lose. I'll be ruined. Um, uh, damn, she's speaking such, uh, damn nonsense. There's a difference of 136 chips. I, I just, I don't understand why you're cutting that, because, like, wouldn't you want to know how many, like, the chip difference and shit? Like, at least I would. Uh, let's see. And this part was skipped, too. And I don't, uh, cause, and, and this part I have a problem with being skipped because we don't, we, um, this part kind of gives a dynamic to the match, which is, it is a bit slow, but, uh, Nishino Toen certainly is winning bit by bit. Um, uh... I, and this part was skipped too. I don't know how she's doing it, and I don't have any proof. And, and this part was skipped. And this part being skipped really bothered me. Um, was when the dealer asked in the manga. This is in the manga. It's not in the anime. When the dealer asks Yumiko, or not Yumiko. Um, oh my god. Shit. My uh, my brain just like stopped for a second. Um, when um when Yuriko when the dealer asked Yuriko if um. If she accepted the bet, or basically, are you okay with wagering 32 chips? Uh, and she says, yes, of course. The reason why is because part of the rules of life and death is the dealer has to make sure that the other uh, player agrees to it. So why are you not, why did you not show that? That kind of, that, that bothered me. Um, but I do have to say the board for life and death looks really nice. Uh, let's see. Now, this part was skipped, too, and this was Saw Tommy's inner monologue. Um, I'm heavily relying on luck here, but it's the only strategy I've got left. I have to win the match in one go to not give her the chance to cheat. Um, now it's your turn to feel fear, uh, Yuriko Nish Nishino. 
Oh, how scary. Like, that part, uh, like, to get, you know, an idea of the dynamic of what's going on in the match, like, I just don't understand why this was skipped either. Uh, what's with her? Why, uh, what? What's with her? Why is she so composed? Don't tell me, girl. There's no way. Um, this was all skipped. And I understand, you know what? I kind of understand why they're skipping all this is because they want to rush to get to and focus on the, um, Yumiko Yuriko match. So I, I kind of understand why they're doing this. Um, this part w was skipped as well. Uh, actually, this part was a little bit later in uh, the anime when Yuriko uh, was explaining to Yumiko the rules. And so I, I understand that, but I wish it would have been explained at this point. Uh, like, this was like a more vague explanation, but uh, this part was completely skipped. Endless swords are falling from the sky, and in this game we are trying to catch them, but uh, can also be hit by them. If a sword you've caught has its blade facing your opponent, it's a scene worthy of great applause. However, if the blade happens to be facing you, my condolences. Um, I under again, I understand why this part skipped, because even in the manga, it has the full explanation of the rules, so I understand why this was skipped. Um, this part was skipped from Suzui, and this part I wish was mentioned, because this is extremely important. Um, I'm gonna spoil this for you a little bit, sorry guys. Which is, um, Satome is gonna get, and it's either gonna be next episode, or, or the episode after that, where Satomi gets her life plan from the student council. Yeah, this is fucked up. If you can't pay your debt back uh, and you accumulate a certain amount of debt, then um, they plan the student council will plan your life for you. It's really fucked up. So this part was skipped. 49,600,000 yen, and this is from Suzui. Uh, even if she worked her whole life, she might not be able to pay that. She's going to be a house pet for the rest of her life. Or sorry, I'm, I'm so I skipped a part here. Um, after, even if she worked her whole life, she might not be able to pay that. Here we go. Even if she tries to pay the student council, it'll just go to her debt. So now Satomi's fate is sealed. She's going to be a house pet for the rest of her life. Um, something I will give props to the anime for is Yuriko's face. Uh, when she says, uh, I no longer have business with her. I love the creepy look on her face in the anime. I think it did a better job. Um, let's see... This part was skipped from Satomi-san. This is the final part that was skipped from her this chap uh, this episode. Uh, don't touch me. When did this um, get so crazy? I was living out an interesting life, ruling over the idiots in my class, going to this prestigious school, and having connections uh, was supposed to make everything in my life go well. I could have easily... Uh, this part was uh, there. Uh, this part was there. Well, uh, now that the nuisance is gone, is skipped. And also, I've heard lots of rumors about you lately. And, um, Suzui is thinking, uh-oh, uh the student council knows about her, uh, was skipped. Um, uh, oh, this part was skipped too. Looks like you can wind up winning or losing more money than you bet, right? Even though Satomi only bet, uh, and this is going back to Suzui now, uh, even though Satomi only bet 10 million yen, she wound up losing 49 million 600,000 600, yen. Um, it's, uh, a pretty risky game, Yumiko. Um... Uh, I think this was here. Very well prepared the field, uh, Kumagusan, uh, Agusasan. Um, understood. I think that part was there. Um, now that, now we get to the rules of, um, of life or death. This part was done really nicely. I like, I liked how this, the sequence for, um, how this was done. Um, the only part I didn't like was they didn't show the really show the chart when you get li for when you get life you take the sword into your hand and can attack your opponent and when you get death the uh, blade sticks into your uh into you and get injured like that part i wish they would have shown the chart and um and again uh they didn't show this earlier during the satomi match which they should have about the rule about uh before each game both players must agree on the amount of chips bet and there was no chart shown for that um so here's the thing that they, the anime got wrong too. So when they were making their bets, Yuriko was supposed to say, uh, was to propose the actual bet amount, which was, so why don't we go with 40 million yen? In the anime, Yumiko proposed the bet amount, which was not correct. Um, Cause Yumiko says here, that's fine. Let's go with 40 million. And then this part was skipped from Suzui. I don't know why, like, they're treating the anime's tr treating Suzuki like a side bitch, but this was skipped. The day she transferred in, it was ten million, then twenty million, and now this. 
uh, is she just doubling the amount every time she plays a game? If she loses, it's, it's all over for her. Emo um, emotions, uh, normal people feel like attachment to money and the fear of losing it. It's almost like Yumiko doesn't feel them at all. Um, let me just make sure this was there. And this part was skipped too, and I don't understand why. Was, um, oh, one more thing. Since we're betting so much, how about we use uh, 1 million uh, yen chips? Like, how are you supposed to know how much a chip, uh, the value of a chip is? Like, seriously. Yeah, I mean, like, God damn it. Um, and then Suzui is saying, uh, 1 million yen, uh, or is thinking, sorry, 1 million yen chips, 40 of them, so that means with them being worth 30 times as much, it could take as little as two chips to finish the game. Very well, I see you want a short match. Um, let's see. Let me make sure that this part was here. Hold on. So this part was skipped as well, which was from Yuriko. Um, here you go. Uh, since this is your first time playing Life or Death, I'll give you a hint. In every round, only about two or three swords on average will stick to the board. If you don't bet on lots of numbers, the chances of you winning will not be very great. And Yumiko says, I see. I'll make sure to remember that during the game. Like, this part was completely skipped. And I don't understand why. Why are you continue? Why are you skipping lore? Like that doesn't make sense. I don't like this logic right now. <laughs> and I'm telling you, they're treating Suzui like a side bitch because this part was uh, all Suzui's inner monologues are basically being skipped. Uh, trying things out. That's 10 million yen. Um, here we go. Let's let's get to the actual match. And Suzui thinking, what's she doing? She needs to bet. She, they're basically just saying, fuck you, Suzui. You can't thank this episode. <laughs> you can't have inner monologues this episode. You can't be, you can't commentate. No, you're just gonna stay quiet. Finally, Suzui can have thoughts and speak. It took a while, but we got it. <laughs> but I gotta say, the life and death game, it's being done really well. Like, the game itself, I mean. Uh, like, minus the shit being, like, the hit being skipped just really bothers me. I swear. And this part was skipped by Yuriko, and I kind of am annoyed. Unfortunately, she cannot do that. As I explained earlier, the game continues until one of us has zero chips. And Suzuki's like, but, but, why? Why did you not have mention that? That's kind of important. Okay, there's another part that skipped, hold on, from uh, Suzui, which was, huh? During her game with uh, Sumeraki, she didn't have um, 20 million yen, though. Was that a lie, or did she make some money without knowing it? Um, oh, sick, let me just... And the, then the, this dialogue was here, of course. Oh, Suzui thinking I don't understand them was skipped. I love when Yumiko said that, uh, basically, you're the equivalent of shit. That was so good! I was like, yeah! <laughs> Can you tell her, Yumiko? Um, this dialogue, this dialogue, this back and forth between Yumiko and Yuriko is done really well. And again, I'm loving the facial expressions on um, Yuriko's face. She's doing, the anime is doing a good job of that. So chapter three as an adaptation, I'm, before we go to chapter four, I gotta say it. Uh, chapter three as an adaptation was okay. Um, Last episode covered a little bit of chapter three. I did not like how they did it because I think they were, I think what was going on was they were trying to rush to this particular uh, part of the chapter. So I, di I didn't like that. But for the most part, the rest of the episode was pretty decent. Uh, minus, you know, lots of inner monologues being skipped and a little bit of lore being skipped, which kind of bothered me. But anyway, uh, for at least like the key lore was there with um the uh the rules for the get for life and death um the stuff about the public matches at least that was there um the only thing that bothered me was that it didn't that in the earlier in the episode that they didn't have you know the dealer approve uh the you know do, show the dealer approving the bet because again it's mentioned that the dealer has to approve the bet for each match and also, you know, not having the amount of money they were betting. The amount of chips, I mean. But anyway, um, now we're getting into Chapter 4's adaptation. Let's see how the anime does Chapter 4. 
this part was skipped. Uh, did you realize that yourself, uh, Nishino, um, Nishino Toen-san, it is your na own name after all. And uh, Suzui is thinking, um, huh? It, it's a sort of pun on her name? Uh, but let's get, that was all skipped. Now let's get back to the episode and see if anything else is skipped. I gotta say, this part of the anime was really good when Yuriko was like, you could feel her rage. You could see it. And like when she had to take a deep breath because she's like holding back her emotions. She is. But when you see her like gripping her hands, like going like this, clenching her hands and uh, clenching her fingers, I mean, and just going and seeing her breath. Oh, and the music for this is so good. It sets the mood. I really like this part of the anime. It's really good. Uh, this part was skipped. Yeah, regardless if it comes up life or death, it's boring if none of our numbers come up. Uh, this part from Suzui was skipped. What? I guess he's going back to being a sob bitch. What? What? Why is she provoking her? What could she possibly gain by bringing the wrath of the student council on herself? This part from Yuriko was skipped. This in her monologue. I cannot let this happen. I can, cannot allow myself to become angry by these unabashed taunts of hers. It would disgrace the student council. Um, the student council president told me to just see how good she was and that's it. Um, uh, hold on a second. Let me just make sure that the rest of this part was here. Uh, this part was skipped too. Um, from Suzui was Yumiko's taunting went a bit overboard. He, um, and Yumiko saying, hold on, let me just make sure this part was there because I need to double check. Hmm, why the sudden change was skipped. Um, and let me just make sure. Um, uh, she put all four, 40 chips on 24. Uh, I think that was skipped too. Hold on a second. Let me just make sure that I'm at the right place in the manga. Uh, yeah, here we go. Now we're getting to the, now we're getting to the explanation on how Yuriko is cheating. I told you, this shit gets really fucked up. Yuriko made her club members pierce their hands just so she could cheat. This is so fucked up. And when they dropped the cup on the board was uh, skipped. But the explanation Yumiko's doing right now is perfect. It is matching the manga just about perfectly. Just then when they dropped the cup on the board uh, was skipped. Uh, this part from Suzui was uh, was skipped. Was it all for that one bet to make sure the trick is used so she could predict the winning number? Um, here we go. Let's get to this part here. Okay, this ex- oh man, I'm so mad because they skipped this part of the explanation for, from Yumiko. I didn't understand why. Money always decides the final victor. Not only in gambling or casino management, this rule applies to all parts of capitalist society. Uh, that is so goddamn true. <laughs> it really is. For whoever, whosoever hath to him uh, shall be given and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever... Uh, hath not from him shall be taken away even that he hath and that's from Matthew uh, 13 12 um, let's see um, I didn't like that you know they, uh, she said financial backing um, Yumiko did but I wish it would have said but rather your financial muscle so to speak that would have been a lot better um, anyway let's make sure the rest of this is here but this part was skipped right here. Even when Satomi made a bet with the purpose of blowing you out of the water, you maintained your composure. And I understand why this part was was skipped. Because they didn't show the scene where Yuriko said how scary. So I, I understand why that part was skipped. I don't like that it was skipped. But I, I understand why it was skipped. The line was supposed to be, uh, now let's go gambling mad, not just let's gamble. I wish they would have had the ga gambling mad. Because this is when, she's when Yumiko is fucking insane. Huh? The student council uh, president is here? Was skipped. So this part was skipped, and I understand why. Because they wanted to um, uh, have the explanation for the bear in the hole play, because that's really important. So this is what was skipped. 310 million yen? What are you going to do? Do you have some way to get the money, Yumiko? Uh, this is the room directly below the tea ceremony, right? Looks like a normal classroom. Nothing unusual about it. I wish that part would have been there, though. Th that part be would have been nice to have um so let's make sure the bear in the whole play is um is explained correctly so this part was skipped from the explanation um the tricksters of old thought of some pretty incredible things now that you mention it i think i've heard about that before but where are you going this 
<laughs> the school, no, the student council president is far greater than um, uh, I'm imagined. Uh, I've ima I imagined. Um, let me make sure the rest of this explanation is here. So this part of the explanation was skipped. Um, it may have been that way when the school was built, or the student council president may have ordered the modification specifically for that game. But something that's bothering me is that they're in a storage room. This explanation is being done in a storage room. It's supposed to be done in a classroom. So I don't understand why this is not, this is just completely incorrect. Um, the scene wise, I mean. Finally! They said mittens! Thank God! I was so worried they were going to stick with VK, but they said mittens! Thank fucking God! And to be honest, I understand why they skipped the first part of chapter 5. Um. Uh. Yeah, th this part was completely. Yeah, in the next shot, it was basically, uh, you know, her desk being abused. But there wasn't supposed to be a doll on her desk. That was, um, something unusual. But yeah, the first part of uh, chapter five was skipped. But I again, I understand why, because it's mostly narration. And if it wasn't, if it was, um, if chapter five was being done on in uh, episode uh, four, I would totally understand them doing the narration in the beginning. But they didn't do that. So I'm I'm fine with it. Oh my god, the live schedules! I am so excited that they showed them at the end of this episode, and we're gonna we're definitely gonna see them next episode. So where I hope this and I like that they showed the bullying, because that was there, and Yumiko acting like a cat, that was there. Um Uh I hope where it starts is when um uh, Suzui says, I got one million yen for you. I borrowed it from my parents. That's where I hope this episode, or next episode starts. Um, and, and this is in chapter five. But chapter four, for the most part, was done well. Um, it was definitely done better than chapter three. Chapter three was not done extremely well. But um, I'm curious what you guys thought about this episode. For the most part, I thought it was an okay episode. It could have been a lot worse. And it could have been a lot better. And I'm kind of disappointed in a way, but I'm real. Next week, I'm so excited to see the live schedules. It's going to be so good. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigan Zinc expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to the Nerdigan Zinc PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdigan Zinc Amazon wishlist. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel, friend me on PlayStation Network. All that in the description. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!